you talk about tuning into a radio and sometimes if you have a not so good signal but I've found as I stand closer to the radio it'll bring the frequency in but then you step away and it goes out so Oh, we'll stand right on your feet. So that's what I wanted. We'll stand right yes, on your feet. That's what I wanted. We'll lick your face if it will help. <laughs> but we are not the source of the vibration. We are an example of it. We are certainly a carrier of it. But you've got your own antenna. You don't need anybody else. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. I do know this would help because this is what brought me over the, the bridge and saved me and moved me forward was um, on your dashboard of your car when you talk about everything is always working out if you could just do that right in front of me I think it'll throw me over the, it will connect just me to that fine too because I know how to vibrate I know how to I, I know that connection I just need all right so we have some questions for you you have a good time here today yes absolutely and just by your attention can you feel how you've calibrated to a deeper shore point of who you are because you feel really clear-minded to us as we're visiting with you you're focused back more than we like but you're doing it with such specific intent we can feel the clarity of your being so you've done a good job of letting this environment calibrate you now that's not our goal we don't want environments to calibrate you we want your deliberate connection with source energy to calibrate you so we're going to ask you some questions so do you think that law of attraction is a real thing yes and do you believe unequivocally and we're not badgering you into this we're not going to hold it against you no. if your answer is not affirmative as it should be <laughs> do you accept that it is attraction 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 yes attraction attraction so no matter how someone else has behaved in your experience well it felt like they were doing things to you and expecting things of you and blah 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 it's attraction 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 so consider this if somebody behaves in a domineering way and you come to expect that that's who they are and the way they're going to behave isn't it attraction 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 and in many ways aren't you controlling their behavior toward you there's no assertion they can't assert that obnoxiousness into your behavior but you can expect it in and that's attraction who that's so big that is so big so what you might say in your mind's eye to past obnoxious people I'm sort of done with you I'm not going to attract that part of you anymore I'm not going to keep that part I'm going to let that go I'm going to let go of that those are the things that you want to let go of you want to let go of any thoughts of oppression they don't exist or any thoughts of assertion it doesn't exist and hold to your knowledge of its attraction its attraction its attraction sit in your room or wherever you want to be and deliberately focus upon things that light up your light board and then think of yourself going out into the world and things just lighting up around you that match who you are and don't try to make it perfect every single day or every single moment just be aware of what's lighting up there are two ways of knowing what you've got going on vibrationally one is how you feel that's pre-manifestation and the other is what happens that's post manifestation and both of those awarenesses are very helpful so when you get something that you don't want don't blame it on them and don't blame it on you accept it as attraction attraction ponder that hmm that person's really trained me into this expectation and this expectation is pretty strong but my expectation doesn't have to be only about what I'm observing I can go broader I can go more general I can remember who they must have been as a baby I can acknowledge who they must have been coming into this life experience I can give them the benefit of the doubt that is the strongest statement the strongest tool the most effective tool at changing what you're attracting from another person if you just decide you're going to give them the benefit of the doubt now let's talk literally about what the benefit of the doubt means it means 
when you feel doubt you are not connected to source and so benefit of the doubt is deciding that you're going to connect with source instead of keeping that active within you you're not giving them the benefit you're taking it for yourself I'm giving myself the benefit of not feeling doubt anymore I'm giving myself the benefit of not pushing against you anymore I'm giving myself the benefit of understanding that I am misunderstanding you because at your core you mean well and you want well and you want well for you and you want well for me you've got to de enemize others you've got to take the enemy out of them you've got to take your reason for pushing against out because what you push against keeps coming to you because it's active a lot of times people don't get it law of attraction law of attractions or art of allowing art of allowing that must mean that I just let people get away with stuff and I just put up with it no the art of allowing is allowing yourself to feel good because you want to no matter what somebody else is doing and that takes some practice because before you cannot care what somebody else is doing you've got to render it unimportant and the way you render it unimportant is because it's unimportant because they can't attract for you so what they think about you is not any of your business Terry Cole Whitaker put that in her book title what you think of me is none of my business best book title ever <laughs> what you think of me is none of my business but if I make what I think you think of me I don't even know for sure what you think of me I've just got my version of what I think you think of me and my version of what I think you think of me is not a very good version and so I'm getting my own goat with my own thought you see helpful there something more one last yeah can I just oh how do I let that part of him how do him how the go with loving loving do I have to love it do I have to <laughs> well we're not asking you to eat ground glass and like it that's a good metaphor it is isn't it yeah we're not asking you to eat ground glass and like it we're asking you to understand that you don't have to eat the ground glass and that the ground glass really doesn't want you to eat it and that there's no value in it there's no virtue in it there's no value in martyrdom it's just a habit it's just a habit so I could just walk away from it not all at once it's unlikely if we tell you that then you'll just be mad at yourself when you don't do it tomorrow but we didn't ask you to just walk away from it we ask you to find something else to think about and when you find something else to think about did you ever see a parent distracting a child with something else they want to go over there so you wave something over here and then they go over there it's kind of the same thing you want to distract yourself toward what feels good to you but some of you have some pretty heavy-duty beliefs in sacrifice and suffering that you picked up from others who were sacrificing and suffering and then they convince you that a virtuous person always suffers and sacrifices and we say it's not virtue that makes you suffer and sacrifice it's a misunderstanding because suffering and sacrificing those feelings of suffering and sacrificing are you pinching yourself off from your inner being who never suffers and never sacrifices your inner being will not join you in your negative condemnation of yourself or someone else and the very fact that your inner being will not go there with you is why it feels so bad when you go because you go without your inner being now if your inner being were really living the rules that most humans are applying to each other your inner being would come there and suffer and sacrifice with you but your inner being will not if your inner being would come then there would be no separation between you and you wouldn't feel bad did you get that so the very suffering itself is evidence of your rightness the very sacrifice in a suffering feeling is the very evidence that your inner being sees you entirely differently than that so in that moment you can say well I can continue this or I can try to see myself more as my inner being sees me I got clarification just then my inner being is not going to come where I'm at. I've got to go where my inner being is. Perfectly said.
perfectly said thank you and it gets easier and easier because your inner being is a powerful attractor and your inner being never stops looking full on at you and your inner being never for a moment stops knowing your value so even though you come and go your inner being is a strong signal that is always there to calibrate to really good thank you really good really good <laughs>